In the early 2010s, Victoria Justice was starring on the hit Nickelodeon show Victorious, playing Tori Vega alongside Elizabeth Gillies, Leon Thomas III, Ariana Grande, and more. It premiered on March 27, 2010 where Victoria also got to co-write some of the songs and even record music for the series that was released on three soundtracks of the show, which three of those songs, those being Freak the Freak Out, Begging on Your Knees, and Best Friend's Brother charted on the US Billboard Hot 100 charts. Victoria was thrilled to be a part of this show since she was able to explore both passions that she loved, that being acting and music. And before starring on her own show, she also got to do some music for the 2009 Nickelodeon movie Spectacular, where she also played Tammy. And even before that, Victoria started to tease a little about wanting to pursue a music career back in 2008 in one of the interviews that she gave at the Teen Vogue Young Hollywood Party, talking about how Sony BMG gave her a record deal for an upcoming show, that being Victoria's and the deal was tied to both the show and also a solo artist career, which at the time was quite common among child stars like Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus, and more that were on Disney Channel who pursue a music career, and now Nickelodeon stars like Miranda Cosgrove, Ariana Grande, Janet McCurdy, and more that were also going into music. So it was only a matter of time until Victoria would release her own music as well, seeing how she was showing interest in music, but nothing was yet confirmed, at least not at that time yet, until around 2010 in some interviews where she spoke about working on solo music and going into 2011 she continued to speak about it but nothing was yet confirmed for a release yet and later that year she did do a cover collaboration of the classic hit song almost paradise by mike reno and ann wilson with hunter hayes for the 2011 movie remake of footloose and on Sunday, December 11, she performed at the 2011 Christmas in Washington event held inside the National Building Museum. And then the following year in 2012, this was the year that Victoria started to speak more about releasing music in interviews. On February 15, she released a song titled Friends Count as part of her partnership with Build-A-Bear that was available exclusively to buy on the Build-A-Bear website, which the funds were donated to the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. She also did cover collaborations with Matt Max and Kurt Hugo Schneider, that being a Maroon 5 medley, Bruno Mars medley, and even a Holiday medley. And with the unexpected news on August 10th of Nickelodeon's show Victoria's Getting Cancelled, which caught fans and actors by surprise since the show was Nickelodeon's number one on the network and was even nominated for three Emmy Awards that year as well. Which in one of the interviews Victoria did with Digital Spy later that year on October 25th, while promoting a new movie she was in titled Fun Size, she spoke about how shocked she was about the news but she was grateful about being a part of such a show and how it helped open up new opportunities for her and though it was ending she was looking forward to new things including music. I've been talking about this for a while I've just really been taking my time because I want to be 100% involved in the creative process. I want to write my own songs and I just need to set aside some time and I haven't had a lot of that recently. But I will towards the end of this year and beginning of next year and it'll it will probably be released next year. So it's going to be classified as pop. Um, but you know, I'm not exactly sure yet. I, I I'm still kind of figuring out exactly what direction I want to go in because I feel like my my taste in music is so eclectic that I could, you know, I love like organic, like soul music, and I love, you know, I don't know, dance music, so I have to find exactly what lane I want to go down, but um, I'm definitely going to be writing all of it, so. Really yeah. And to end 2012 on November 28th in New York, she performed at the 2012 Rock Center Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony where she sang Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, Jingle Bell Rock, and Last Christmas. The following year on January 2013, Victoria announced her Here's To Us tour named after the song Here's To Us from the Victoria's 3.0 soundtrack happening in the summer. She also did an interview with Clever TV where she discussed the tour saying it was kind of like a farewell tour for Victoria. She also reflected how Victoria's provided great practice for her since she hadn't sung professionally yet before being on that show. She then shared some details about her upcoming album mentioning that her first single would be released this year and she also had been working on this album since she was about 16. And overall she was currently crafting the sound of what she wanted the album to be. 
Then the next month on February 15, Victoria released a song titled Grow Up, a song she wrote with Toby Gad as a thank you for helping Grow Up raise $20,000, fulfilling a tweet Victoria made back in October 2012, which Grow Up is an organization that Victoria had been supporting since around 2010, launched by the United Nations Foundation, helping to provide for girls to reach their full potential in other countries that don't have the opportunity to get an education, clean drinking water, and other essentials. Then in March, plans were changed and instead of Victoria doing her Here's To Us tour, she instead was going to do the Summer Break Tour with Big Time Rush, which was announced on March 29th in an interview they did on On Air with Ryan Seacrest, set for June 21st in Los Angeles where they would travel to 38 cities including New York, Chicago, Dallas, and more. The next month on April 11th, during a Q&A she did with Gambio, she gave more details about her upcoming album, saying she had written over 40 songs, and besides guest starring on a new episode of Big Time Rush titled Big Time Tour Bus. She also celebrated reaching 245k subscribers on YouTube by uploading a cover of Some Nights by Fun on April 25th. As the weeks passed, Victoria continued to tease her new music. Besides knowing that her debut single was coming soon, the wait seemed to be almost over since on June 2nd, Victoria tweeted about doing a photo shoot for her first single, and four days later, on June 6th, she officially announced that her debut single, Gold, would be released on June 18th. And now with counting down to its release, she teased gold further by revealing the official artwork on June 10th and leaving snippets of lyrics around City Walk LA on June 14th. And on June 16, while filming the music video, Victoria posted a photo from the set with Colton Haynes, which Colton also tweeted about working with her, confirming that he would also make an appearance in the video. Her debut single Goal premiered a day before on air with Ryan Seacrest on June 17th, which Victoria shared more photos while being on set with Colton for the video and another picture of her wearing headphones. Then the following day, Gold had officially released a bubblegum pop song about telling a guy, you know I'm interested in you and you're interested in me, let's not play these games anymore, let's just go for it and see where this can lead to. The song was written by Peter Thomas, A. Strutt, Ben Camp, Jacob Gerlstrom, and I apologize for mispronouncing his last name, Sam Shreve, Jason Wise, and Tuvelu. Produced by The Strux and Previn, Jason Wise, Peter Thomas, and The Messengers. The music video for Gold was released the following month on July 12th, which Victoria also posted more photos from the set as the release was getting closer, directed by Chandler Lass. And in the pink and gold visual, we see Victoria and her love interest, played by Colton Haynes, being flirtatious with each other and overall just enjoying each other's company. While some critics did like it, like MTV, naming it the perfect summer jam, there were some critics, such as Critic of Music who gave the song a C plus and also said, Overall, it does seem to have Victoria's own vibe like she said, but a label not tied to Nickelodeon would have greatly benefited her. The lyrics are above average, even though the random inclusion of I'm Gold is mind-boggling, the production is average and her vocals are average or maybe slightly above, but it doesn't seem like Gold is going to catch on anytime soon. And not only did Victoria release Gold, but that same day she also released another song, a B-side track titled Shake. An upbeat, self-empowered song about letting go and having fun because life's too short to not enjoy it. Written by Haley Jean Penner, Adam Messenger, Sir Nolan, Victoria Justice, and Nas Ree. And I apologize if I mispronounce his name. Produced by Nas Ree and Sir Nolan. And although I didn't receive a music video, Victoria teamed up with Zumba for a dance video that broke down the dance moves that was uploaded on her YouTube channel on September 26. As Victoria did some promo for the new single and briefly discussed the upcoming album, there were two particular interviews where she gave more details that I selected, one of them being on June 18th with Billboard, where she shared a bit about the album's vibe by saying, It definitely falls under the category of pop, but it's my own vibe. When you hear these songs, the people that know me are like, This is so Vic. It's 100% my personality, messages I want to get across. Some of the songs are really fun, upbeat stuff you can dance to, and then I have some songs that are a little more introspective, a little more mellow. It's just all me basically, so it's very cool. Then there's a second interview being with MTV News on July 19th, where she talked about life being on vacation as co-writing three songs that made it on the soundtrack, which she felt helped set her in the right direction to be able to sing and act because she's passionate about both. She also gave some insight about the new album, saying, I'm in creative control. I'm steering the ship. I wanted to be a little more mature. I'm 20 years old now, so I've grown a lot as a songwriter as well. I think my album is definitely going to be pop. 
I'm kind of playing around with different types of pop. Gold is more mainstream pop and I wrote another song that I'm super excited about and it's one of my favorites that I've ever written. I'm just exploring with a bunch of different sounds. It's been really fun getting to write most of my music. Although she didn't reveal the name of the other song that she was very excited about, she did provide some more details describing it as more singer-songwriter pop, really catchy and upbeat. You'll want to snap your fingers and dance to it. She wrote it for a boy inspired by Bruno Mars, kind of in the same vein as his song Just The Way You Are, but with a girl singing it to a guy this time. Victoria performed both Gold and Shake on the summer break tour alongside fellow Nick Starr's Big Time Rush and despite doing interviews to promote her music, things felt silent for the remainder of 2013 regarding her upcoming album with her shifting her focus onto acting more, which led to her filming a new movie titled Naomi Ely's and No Kiss List in a new show called Eye Candy. And although fans were eager to know more about these projects that she was doing, they were also left wondering what happened to her album and why hadn't there been at least an update on the process of it. Which I will talk more about her 2013 debut album later on in the video so keep watching. However, Victoria didn't stop entirely doing music since she ended the year with a cover collaboration she did of the hit song Say Something by A Great Big World with Max and Kerr Hugo Schneider. In 2014, Victoria continued to focus on acting. There was also some music related news such as her collaborating with James Maslow who tweeted about working on something special with her in the studio which later on James revealed in an interview with E! It was a cover of Let It Go from Disney's movie Frozen. Then a few months later on June, Victoria uploaded a video on the social media platform Kink covering the song Stay the Night by Zed and Hayley Williams for her fans. However, there was still no news on what happened to her debut album which leads us to August 19th where Billboard revealed that Victoria had left Columbia Records. It's according to her representative who also shared Victoria had wrote and recorded new songs with Toby Gad and Magic's frontman Nasri Athway and I apologize if I mispronounce his name and that Victoria was also planning to release new music sometime next year but in the meantime she was was gonna focus on acting and that was really it in terms of music that happened to Victoria in 2014. And while heading into 2015 as she was promoting Eye Candy, the new MTV TV show she was starring in that premiered on January 12th, there was an interview she gave with Extra TV a few days before on January 8th. She replied with focusing on acting currently and though she does have music that she would like to release, she's just waiting for the right time to try and figure out how to balance both of them. And in March when she did an interview feature on Who What Wears Birdie March 2015 edition, she expressed her desire wanting to get back into music where she said, now that I have a little bit of a break from the show, I'm definitely getting the itch to get back in the studio and start writing again. I miss performing so much. I miss being on stage and being able to share my music with people. Whether I sign to another label, I'm not sure, but I might just release stuff on my own just so my fans can hear it and I can share that with the world. She also did an interview on July 9th with J14 Magazine where she shared about getting out of her label contract because of creative differences and that she wasn't working on anything at the moment and knowing that she was teasing her fans for years of new music, she did reassure that one day she would be releasing something hopefully soon. As 2015 continued, Victoria would still sometimes take on music related projects such as her appearing on an episode of Undateable where she not only played the role of Amanda but she also sang alongside Bridget Mendler and also performed a cover of Britney Spears hit song Baby One More Time with both Bridget and Ed Sheeran. She was also on an episode of Lip Sync Battle with Greg Sulkin, which the songs that she lip synced to were Total Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Taylor and Hot in Here by Nelly. There was also two collaborations Victoria did, one of them being with Max and Kerr Hugo Schneider, this one being a mashup medley of Justin Timberlake's hit songs, and the other one being for a new song titled Love Song to the Earth that featured various artists such as Victoria Justice, Fergie, Natasha Benningfield, Leona Lewis, and more. And it was a song to inspire action on climate change which the royalties to this song will go directly towards the Friends of the Earth US and the United Nations Foundation. And although Victoria continued to focus on her acting career as the years continued, her love for music remained strong as she would sometimes upload covers to her YouTube channel such as Last Christmas by Wham! and There's Nothing Holding Me Back by Shawn Mendes. 
There will also be a moment here and there of her doing interviews where she discussed wanting to release something and that she was working on new music. Which on July 27, 2019, Victoria posted a photo of herself in the studio, sparking anticipation among her fans that she was ready to return to music. Which after patiently waiting for 7 years since her debut single, Victoria teased a snippet of a new song on December 6, 2020. Then the following day posted the news of her music return, revealing the artwork of her new single, Treat Myself. Set to release on Friday, December 11th, and in the post she talked about promising to release music in 2020, despite the challenges that the year brought, also mentioning she had written and recorded many songs and hoped that this song in particular could help anyone during this difficult time while social distancing and keeping safe. She described the song about overcoming self-doubt. She also expressed her love and gratitude to her fans and assured them that more music was on the way. A music video for Treat Myself was released a few days later on December 16, directed by John Longston and Patrick Dwyer. The video was filmed in one day, it had the theme of vulnerability and self-love, taking place at night with a water element, which was a concept that Victoria came up with. The song was definitely a departure from her past music sonically, but still keeping that pop element in a more softer way, which during a Q&A when asked if it was hard for her to be vulnerable knowing that this song was going to be heard by various people, Victoria replied with, Being vulnerable is always a little scary, but I knew that this was the time to share this message. I felt like it could help people, it felt very true to me, and that's what music's about, being real and honest and hoping that someone connects. And from this point on, Victoria continued to release new music including songs from her acting roles such as Everybody's Breaking Up featured in the film Trust and her collaboration with Spencer Sutherland for the Netflix film Afterlife of the Party. She also stated in interviews that she plans on releasing a debut album one day but in the meantime she just wants to share the music that she's been creating while working on the album. Victoria also discussed working with Toby Gad who also co-wrote songs such as Skyscraper by Demi Lovato, All I Want Is Every everything for the Victoria's soundtrack and even Big Girls Don't Cry by Fergie, a song Victoria also covered with Toby which was released on November 2nd, 2023. Now going back to her 2013 debut album, I did find some more information about it on Reddit so I'm not really sure how accurate it is so it's up to you if you want to believe it or not. So I found out that the album was going to be called Firefly and that this was going to be the album cover which I thought at first was fan made because I saw like someone that had taken I guess a picture of it and then I guess later on a few months ago actually that they leaked the like a better quality version of the cover and then from this reddit user they also said the album was going to have 13 songs and some of the songs had leaked online and again I'm not really sure how accurate this is so I might have missed a song or so you know maybe something's missing or maybe one of these songs was not even meant for that debut album so I'm just going to read what I found based on reddit along with like a youtube playlist that I found that had some of the songs that was gonna be on Firefly, which the songs were Ain't Nobody Else, Add Love, which I found out about this song on Twitter, which apparently was meant for Firefly, Beautiful Day, Firefly, Roller Coaster, Better Than You, Fun, Love Zombie, that one being one of my top favorites, and also one of the songwriters that worked on this song with Victoria and another songwriter actually tweeted at Victoria the word zombie back in 2010s, Caught Up In You, Our Little Secret, and Solo. And if you're interested, I did leave these links to Reddit in the description down below if you wanted to check them out. And going back to Victoria leaving the label because of creative differences, there was an interview she did on August 24, 2023 with her campus where she spoke about her debut single Gold, revealing she didn't actually want to record it, but the label kept insisting. And though she's glad that she did do it and considers it a fun song, it wasn't really her first choice for it to be a single. Which personally, I think Love Zombie would have made a much better choice especially at that time when it comes to the lyrics and the vibe it just fits so well with the songs that were being released at that time. I just think 
it's such a shame the label didn't believe in her enough because if Gold would have had some television performances and better marketing, I'm sure it would have helped and if not, they should have had more singles prepared to keep trying. I also noticed on TikTok there was a video going around on March 2024 with her unreleased song Love Zombie saying that Dan Schneider, the creator of Victorious and Zoe 101, two shows that Victoria was on, sabotaged her music career, which in early 2014, after the documentary Quiet On Set was out, where he exposed just how horrible he was behind the scenes and just overall what a terrible human being he really is. Victoria did speak about working with him saying that he had a big ego which clouded his judgment and affected the way he treated people and at times she felt she was treated unfairly. So it could be possible he was another reason why her 2013 debut album didn't release. Of course I'm not sure if this is correct or not. This is just something I saw going around on TikTok that I thought I should mention. I will say I'm just glad Victoria kept going and didn't let what happened behind the scenes take away her love of music and that now she found a balance to do both music and acting two things that she really loves and the best part is that she has creative freedom with no limits so I'm really looking forward to her debut album when it does come out. What are your thoughts on this? What did you think of Gold when it came out? Did you think it was a good choice by the label to have that as the first single? And also out of all the songs that Victoria has released, what are your top 3 favorite songs? You can share it down below in the comments. And if you're interested, I did do a video about Zendaya why she left music which you can watch right here. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.